Hi everyone, this is Rick McDermott here with Senior Solutions Group and we assist people with retirement and Medicare planning. And this coming uh, month from now, I will be in Washington, D.C. on your behalf, making sure that our legislatures are not forgetting you, our retirees and our seniors on Medicare and on health insurance. We're going to be at the 2023 NABIP Capital Conference. Those of you who don't know what NABIP is, formerly NAHU, the National Association of Health Underwriters, now the National Association of Benefits and Insurance Professionals Capital Conference for 2023, which will be March or February 26th through March 1st in Washington, D.C. So some of the agenda items we're going to be discussing is going to be how to protect your Medicare, how to make sure your benefits aren't reduced, and also to how, to make it, how to make it easier to access your Medicare benefits. There's Medicare marketing rules for those of us who are in the business who are now required to record all of our phone calls. So us mom and pop agents who are looking out for your best interest are now required to record our phone calls primarily because of all the abuses by the third party marketing organizations that are not looking out for your best interests, that are not telling you the full story of how Medicare Advantage plans work and are abusing the license that they uh, swore an oath to uphold to look out for your best interest. Many of these marketing organizations are, are selling your names to overseas companies in the Philippines, in India, Getting, you're getting telemarketing phone calls against the law. Uh, if you are on a do not call list, you are still getting phone calls. You're getting all kinds of clutter in the mail. We're going to talk about how to curb some of this and also help your local agents and the people that you are trusting that have worked on your behalf not to have to go through these uh, phone call recordings when it's unnecessary. So it's really an intrusion. We're here to look out for you and your best interests. We're going to talk about the marketing rule. We're going to talk about COBRA benefits, those of you who work past 65 to make it easier to get off COBRA and onto Medicare with no penalties. And there's an observation status where patients are now required to spend three days in the hospital to qualify for skilled nursing benefits. If you break your hip or have a stroke or have a heart attack and you go to the hospital, and you need rehab care, you're not going to get that rehab care in the hospital. The hospital will simply stabilize you. So under the ways the hospitals get reimbursed by the government, they have a set amount of days or a set dollar amount that they get paid under the diagnostic related groupings. So there are about over 450 of these different groupings that the hospitals get paid under. So if you go in for a heart surgery or a heart attack or a stroke, or a hip fracture, the hospital is going to get a set amount of days of reimbursement. If they can discharge you sooner, they get to keep the extra payment from the government. If they have to keep you an extra day or two or more, they have to eat the cost. So what is the incentive for the hospital? To discharge you quicker, where you'll get your rehab done in a nursing facility. Well, guess what? If you spend less than three days as an inpatient, Medicare will not pay a dime for your rehab care in the nursing facility. So you would be out of pocket the full amount from day one. Under the current rules, if you spend three days in the hospital, Medicare will pay the first 20 days at 100% as long as you're showing progress. In the next 80 days, you have a $200 per day copay that you are responsible for, unless you have a Medicare supplement plan that would pay all of that for you, which would be over $15,000 out of your pocket. So we have ways to avoid that. Reach out to us at Senior Solutions Group to find out how. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, feel free to do so and share this with a friend. Also, if you have any things that you would like us to discuss or bring up with Congress, let me know. Reach out to us in the comment section of this video and I'll be sure to mention your concerns to our legislatures. So the three-day hospital stay we are trying to get them to change it because often when you go to the ER and they keep you overnight, they do not admit you into the hospital. They keep you for observation. We're getting to, we're getting to the point now where this is happening more and more and more where the hospitals are not admitting people overnight. So that does not count toward your three-day hospital stay. 
So under the new rule, we are proposing that they will count your observation day or your observation days as counting toward the three-day hospital stay rule for skilled nursing benefits because you have to spend at least three nights in the hospital for Medicare to pay for your rehab care. So we are going to be talking about that as well, as well as some other, uh, some other things that we're seeing with uh, special enrollment periods, coverage gap closures. So we're, we're here to look out for you. We're also going to talk to our congressman about the U.S. debt ceiling. Uh, on January 19th uh, this year, we hit the, this is an article that I'm going to talk to you about, the U.S. debt ceiling being reached. Uh, the big what ifs, what if they have to stop Social Security payments? This hasn't happened ever before. What if my check is late or if it never comes? So there's lots of ruminations. I'm going to read through a little bit of this. And concern have been commonplace in recent years with the uniquely American sequence of elected leaders spending wildly and then later having to vote on whether to pay for their largesse. But the extreme partisanship, we all agree there's a lot of partisanship Capitol Hill is divided, very heavily divided right now, it has seemed to propel the, de the debate into scarier territory with various players seriously jockeying to use the moment to leverage support for their pet issues. As we know, the U.S. government reached its statutory borrowing limit on January 19th, just a few days ago, and if the limit isn't re raised, the country could default on $31 trillion with a T of debt, something that's never happened and likely would trigger disastrous economic consequences. Though the limit has been reached, the doomsday scenarios won't occur for months as the government has wiggle room and can invoke emergency methods to delay default to perhaps June. Well, we'll be in DC in a month to talk about this with our legislatures to make sure that doesn't happen. So, so for now, the how long is unknown. And uh, we're going to make sure that the Medicare Trust Fund is protected. Uh, we want our tax dollars spent on what's important. Our seniors are very important to our country. Of course, we want to eliminate Medicare waste, fraud, and abuse. But those Medicare benefits that are very important to you and Social Security benefits that are very important to you are protected. They are sacred. You've worked your whole life for these benefits. And you deserve to be taken care of. So, again, if you have any comments, any concerns, another thing I'm going to be mentioning is it's been very difficult for people enrolling in Medicare, going through the Social Security offices nationwide. I know our local office lately has not been answering the phone, and people have been hung up on after an hour or two hour hold time. That needs to stop. We should not have to reach out to our local congressman's office to intervene in these scenarios. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, these people work for us. We are not intruding on their time. They are paid by us and they are our servants and they should be taking care of us. So funding's an issue and staffing may be an issue. Whatever it is, there's no excuse for that and it needs to be fixed. So I'll be looking out for your best interest in a month. Please contact us if you need any help at SeniorSolutions.net and we are here for you and have a great rest of your day, and I'll be reporting back to you after our trip to D.C., so stay tuned.